I sit alone in the zone, so gone Just think about the scriptures, knowing I was living wrong Praying that the Lord forgive me In this walk I'm going strong As far as age, yeah, I'm grown But spiritually a newborn uh, Not trying to be lukewarm So weekly we bring it out Yeah, them trumpets gonna get it What's going on, buddy, over there, though? Tazak, in New York What's up? What's going on, my brother? What's your dialogue about? Let me talk to you, bro. Huh? Wait, what about mules? Like donkeys? Oh, all right. Well, what about them? Yeah, because it's not it's not genetically sound. They can't they can't reproduce with each other. A mula, yeah, the mules. It's possible that it's, it's they, 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 they're, they're sterile after if they do. Exactly. Yeah. It's like a liger. It's not natural. They're not sterile. All the mules are sterile. How do you know that? Why is that important to you anyway? <laughs> why is that important? Why that? You don't have to be on camera, but why is that important to you, so? I mean, whatever. Have, have a nice day, sir. At intercourse with a Down syndrome person who has different amount of chromosomes in you, can you not produce, reproduce? That just sounds crazy. That just sounds crazy. You're not seeing a woman. I've seen a girl like that, too. But can you Shoot. reproduce? Can you reproduce? I, I'm not familiar with that. I, right? I, I don't you know if that's happened before. You still make offspring with a Down syndrome person. And that offspring can well, continue, can continue Asians to make are, Asians have Down syndrome, so, so yeah. Like, when, when humans... When humans mated with Neanderthal, sir, 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 we're not we're not doing that, sir. Hey, there's no such thing as Neanderthal, so, sir. Okay, so you there's been, no such thing so as Neanderthal. If you believe you in Neanderthals, people, you want people to believe what you have to say, but you no, know, prove, prove there's Neanderthals. Okay, prove it. Have, so you believe in human human evolution? Then, go ahead. If you if you're going with Neanderthals, I believe that I believe no, not necessarily human evolution. Okay, there's 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 biblical, and then there's there's evolution. Right? Uh -huh. People that believe in God believe that God came down and He created us, right? He created us in His image, but our image mm -hmm. was able to reproduce with a lot of different species because we came from this earth. Regardless of, of where He came and created us, he created us from Earth. Great. So where was the so where was the beginning? Earth, where was the beginning? So if white people are the Neanderthals, who was the first Neanderthal? I don't know. That's what I'm have, saying. They don't have their history like that. They don't have their history like that. The Bible has a history of it, but Neanderthal doesn't. Like like who's who's uh like who who does the Bible say the people of the North are? The people of the north, I mean, it depends. If you're talking about the land of the north, you might be talking about the people in, in, Gog, in Gog and Magog. It's just different people. Right? Now, but there, but, my but point is this. But there's an adversary from the north that is not of God's people, right? Well, God's people, right? look, okay, cool. Like if you want to talk about say, the Bible, say, go to say, God's, people, God's people and, and, and Adam. People. Go to Second Ezra. Okay, cool. Let's go to the Bible. And there's, we, there's, people, there's a God's separation. People. There's God's people, Great. and then there's not God's people. Absolutely. Right? And this is what we're going to read. 2nd Ezra 6 and uh, uh, 54. Yeah, read. Right. right, so this is 2nd Ezra 6 and 54. Uh -huh. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. So Adam, who God made Lord of all creatures, read. Of him come we all. All everybody on the earth comes from Adam. Correct. Read. And the people also... Whom thou hast chosen. But also the people who God chose also came from Adam, read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. He said that all this was spoken way from the beginning because the world was made for God's people's sake, read. As for the other people. But as for the other people. Which also come of Adam. Because everybody does come from Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. God says that they are nothing. God doesn't regard them as nothing, but... But be like unto spittle. God sees them as spit, like nothing. Keep reading. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. God just sees them as a, like a, a drop of water that gets dropped out of a bucket. That's it. 
So my point is, but when you're saying they didn't come from Neanderthals, who's the first Neanderthal then? Because you said God made uh, made the world people in His image, but they're not. And the Bible literally says that everybody does come from Adam, but also God's chosen people comes from Adam. How far back do you guys go in the Bible? Like how far back? We, we stand on the whole Bible. Just the Bible. The whole Bible, and we can go through archaeology. I mean, for us to really stand on this, we don't just don't believe in this. Okay. Hold on, we don't just believe in this because hold on, hold on. we believe Who's in it. We that? can prove it. Who's that? This. That's a prophecy in the Bible. That's a prophecy in Daniel a seven. There was this was this was a this was a vision. That right there. Yeah, this was a vision in Daniel seven. That's a vision. Yes. Who is that? This was a vision. Of Nebuchadnezzar, of Nebuchadnezzar had a dream, right? Nebuchadnezzar, which was the, 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 king, the, the, the king of Babylon, he had a dream that was plaguing him. That he, had, he had an issue and he had everybody trying to decipher the dream, but no one could, but God's prophet could, right? He told them the, exactly the same dream, what it was. He prayed on it, God gave him the revelation, and he told them this represents all the kingdoms that are going to rule the earth. This is all this is, right? So just, that's just to answer your question. We can read that if you want to, but my sole question is, do you think that the white people come from Neanderthals, but they're still, they came from her, who made them? See, and for you, I, if, where, okay. That's where, that's where, I, see, I, I don't completely believe in the Bible. Great. And, and it's because I believe that there is true uh-huh. So there is a people that evolved. So you believe in evolution? I do believe a small bit of evolution. I believe there's a people that evolved. That's why I say they don't come from they don't come from Adam. You know, they're not actual people. They're mules. And that's why they have a hard time that's why they have a hard time reproducing. That's why there's so many infertility clinics. That's why there's so many people that are that they have to have surrogates. Yes. And, and, uh, and now, I see what you're saying. And, 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 and you know what? What's that in the Bible? Yeah. Oh, so, that, so that, 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 yeah. That what I was telling this guy is that a human sperm, when injected into the egg of a pig, uh -huh. create life. That's not always no, true. No, yeah. no, 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 no. That's not true. No. It, no. I, you believe in science? Bring, bring the uh, bring the studies. Yeah, 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 I need the studies because you said I believe in science. I need you to bring it. You presented it. I'm not going to present your fact. Because I need no. I need you to put it. Can humans can humans reproduce other species? I'm gonna pull it up right now. That's crazy. That, that's never. That's not. That's unheard of. And and, and and that's He's crazy because humans because humans can only reproduce with other Homo sapiens, yes, right? Sir. If you want to go with the scientific word, right? Homo he sapiens with sapiens with, with the pig. Species. He said a pig. Oh, 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 let's go with the closest ape. Yeah. Let's go with the closest ape. Ape. I, I'm gonna help you out just a little bit. I'm gonna help you out with just a little bit. Ape. Can, can, can humans reproduce with ape, which is the closest to, to human, can according to science? And the answer is yes. Does it come animals. out right? It doesn't come out Great. right. Great. Can humans it, reproduce it, with it, animals? He said other species. No. Humans cannot reproduce with animals. Simple. Put a pig. <laughs> what he just crazy. said. That's crazy. That's the first time I heard that. Now, they're trying to use pig particles and things like that to, like, do surgery and uh, what's, what they just do? Uh, yeah, a pig heart. A pig heart they put a, a pig heart, heart in, because in, uh, it because body. it's it's almost similar to a human heart. Yeah, that's just that, that, that's not that, that's that doesn't say that does not say that, that we can reproduce with these things. What does it say? So, Naturally, a human that, right. cannot impregnate a pig, as there are many reproduction barriers between them. Naturally, differences different species cannot breed, as there are many reproduction barriers. Most, most importantly, there are genetic barriers. Genetic barriers. Human, uh, human spermatosa, is, 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 is spermatosa, which is a sperm, can bind to a pig ZP and undergo an, acros, an acrosome reaction, 15 to 58% depending on an individual, right? 
they are not able to fuse the uh, the, uh, the olima, but they can conde they can condense and form a human pronoculus when injected into pig into pig osseots, right? So they, they, that, that, is, that does not mean that they can reproduce. A homunculus, it's a whole different thing. A uh, no, 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 no. It did not say, it did not say, it did, it did not say, it did, it did not say, it did not say, I said they could, it could. But this did not say it could create a homunculus. A homunculus is an actual. He just said it. No, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. Give me that. Bring that back. That's I, not true. That I did not say human sperm mixed with the pig can produce a humunculus. No, I did not say humunculus, bro. What did it say? Bring up the word humunculus. I'm about to look it up no, right no, now. That's no, crazy. Human sperm uh, spermazoa yeah. combine to human ZP and undergo an, acro, an acrosome reaction 15 to 80, 15 percent to 58 percent, depending on the individual. Depending on the individual, they are not able to fuse with the olima. But they can condense. Well, they can they, they can condense a form of male pronoculus when injected into pig osseots. Now you said it did, nowhere did it says they they it can produce a a homunculus. That's crazy, bro. Let me look that other word. Chimpanzee. It is considered unlikely that true human monkey hybrids could be brought to term. However, it is feasible that human compatible organs. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what we said. That's exactly what we're talking about. Exactly. They grow. They can actually grow, bro. They grew. They grew a human here. Yeah, uh, yeah. uh, no, on a mouse oh, yeah, because yeah. the DNA is kind of similar. No, no, no. no. Exactly. Those are, That's those they, are, they grew an actual human ear on a mouse before, right? Now this is uh, uh, no. I didn't say exactly. Nowhere did it say that it, 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 it can produce a homunculus. A homunculus is anything that's similar to a human. Like that picture of that dude yeah. that I thought that I thought it was a baby yeah, yeah, yeah. in that whole Drake thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They that's a homunculus. Yeah. That's a homunculus. A homunculus is something that's similar to a human being in its fashion: head, eyes, ears, arms. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's a human DNA. That's a homunculus. This doesn't produce a homunculus, right? In the in, in, in the medical world, they can get they uh, they can get vaccines. They can get all these things dealing with pigs, right? That that and, and other animals. But they still need human. They still need human. What's it called? Uh, 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 the specimens to go to go into the foot. You cannot. Humans cannot mate with any other animals, bro. At all. At all. And that's why when he's referencing the, the, the uh, horse and the uh, mule, their offspring are sterile because it's not natural. That's a force. That's a that's a force reproduction. It, 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 in 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 the natural world, they won't even deal with each exactly, other. Ever. Humans did ever. that. We did that. Exactly. Right. We did that. Oh, yeah, debunk that whole, uh, what do you say? Oh, 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 about Neanderthals? Yeah, Neanderthals. And also, where, where does the word Neanderthal, Neanderthal come from? Do you understand where the word Neanderthal comes from? The very first Neanderthal remains that they found was in Germany, right? In the Neander Valley, next to river, to a river. So that's where the word Neanderthal comes from, right? Because they found a human's remains in a valley, the Neander Valley in Germany, next to a river, which is Thal, which is the, the, the German word for river, okay. right? <laughs> they don't find it, like, that's still human remains, man. Is it though? Yes. Genetically, it's, it's... It's a human. It's a human, right? I mean, if you believe in human, in human evolution, right? I mean, you still got to prove it because it's still a theory. Human, the evolution, the, 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 the theory the of evolution. The Why Bible, isn't it? The Bible is still a theory. A theory? <laughs> yeah, right. It's not even a theory. The a it's not even, it's not even a theory. You can't, what, what part of the Bible can you prove? Oh, prophecy. Archaeology. Archaeology. What part of archaeology? Oh, okay, fine. We got plenty of archaeological sources.
this is extra biblical, extra, extra biblical uh, 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 materials that they found outside the Bible that proves that the Bible happened, right? Uh, the stone, the the, the Memnon stone, what's it called? The uh, the Moabite stone? Yeah, 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 Moabite stone. You can pull that, pull that up. Pull that up. Let me pull up the, the other. Why do you think all archaeologists, they pretty much deal with the Bible, all of them? Exactly. All of them. This is where the whole no, what I mean, interests... What I mean, about like, about the Middle East like, is, bro. Like, all the extra stuff, the, the holy stuff that it's happening in the Bible. Because, yeah, it's a story, you know, but can you can you prove that God is speaking to this guy? Just because it was in a book doesn't mean that, like, he was speaking to somebody. Okay. Because they could write a book about San Francisco. Great. The prophet walking through San Francisco. And they're going to they're gonna say, like, like this building here, and that building might still be there a thousand years from now. Yeah. But can you prove that God is speaking to that Great. walking through San Francisco? Right now, you just asked us about this sign, right? Where, yeah, where's it at? Sign. Yeah, uh, yeah. Daniel. I was about to say to go to that. Daniel, perfect. let's go to that. That's perfect. Daniel, is that Daniel two? Two seven eight. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, this this was prophesied thousands of years before all these things happened, man. Right, and it happened exactly like it like, like it said it was going to happen, and that tells us it's divine. Now, there was the mathematical the mathematical uh, 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 what's it called uh, possibility for all these prophecies to happen was pretty much one out of ten 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 powers to the powers of thousands, right? And I wish I still had that mathematical source, which was crazy, man. That. These prophecies happen all in the, in the book of Daniel, and down to broken down to math, uh, mathematics, it was a crazy, crazy ass number. It was one to like three thousand to the tenth power, like it's crazy, right? Go to Daniel. This is Daniel two and thirty six. Is the point? Uh huh. It says this is a dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Uh huh. Thou, O king, art a king of kings. He said, Thou, O king, art the king of kings. Right? Read. For the go for the God of heaven hath given thee a kingdom, uh -huh. power, and strength, and glory. Because he was the king of the kings at that time. Nebuchadnezzar, which is a historical man that you can look up in academia today, which is the king of Babylon. Read. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, uh -huh. the beasts of the field and the fowls of heaven hath he given into thine hand. He gave him dominion out through the almost the whole fertile crescent. Read. And hath made thee ruler over them all. Uh huh. Thou art this head of gold. This is you are this head of gold in your dream represents you. Read. And after thee uh -huh. shall arise another kingdom inferior to thee. Uh, after you, another kingdom is gonna arise after you. Right? Read. And another third kingdom of brass. And another third kingdom of brass, the hips. Right? That represents another kingdom. Read. Which shall bear rule over all the earth. That th th This kingdom, which is crazy, bear ruled over the whole known earth. We're going to get to that. Read. And the fourth kingdom. And the fourth kingdom. Read. Shall be strong as iron. It's going to be strong as iron. Right? Which happened in the Iron Age. Right? Which was crazy. Read. For as much as iron breaketh in pieces, uh -huh. it subdueth all things. And they're going to subdue all things, not just the Middle East. They they subdued all Europe. They subdued all the way up to uh, to England, which winded up being the Roman uh, the Roman Empire. Read. And as iron that breaketh all these, uh -huh. shall it break in pieces and bruise. Uh-huh. Read. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes. Now, when it comes to the feet and toes. Part of. Part of potter's clay and uh -huh. part of iron. Part is going to be made out of potter's clay and potter's iron. Potter's clay and potter's uh, uh, and iron do not mix. Right? Read. The kingdom shall be divided. They're going to be divided. They're going to be pretty much in two pieces, just like these were. We understand that the Roman uh, the Roman Empire was split into two, east and west. All these other ones were uh, were split up. Read. But there shall be in it. Of the strength of the iron. Uh huh. They're gonna be have, they have they're gonna have strength of iron. Yes. Read. For as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. Uh huh. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron. They were just a part of iron. Read. And part of clay. And part of clay. Read. So the kingdom shall be partly strong 
and partly broken. They're going to be partly strong and partly um, broken, read. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with the miry clay, uh -huh. they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. They're going to mingle themselves with the seed of men, read. But they shall not cleave one to another. But they're not going to be strong. They can't cleave to one another because they're not same uh, composite, just like all these other parts, right, read. Even as iron is not mixed with clay. Uh-huh. And in the days of these kings, in the days of all these kings, read, of these kings, read, Han, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. He's going to set up a kingdom at that time, read, which shall never be destroyed. Uh huh. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. And that kingdom, now, this prophesy and this dream that he received, a rock came and destroyed their feet, which pretty much collapsed all everything else, read. Han. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, uh -huh. and it shall stand forever. And it's going to stand forever, that new kingdom. That means the kingdom of heaven, or pretty much the, the ruler that's going to bring the kingdom of heaven, which is Christ, right? Now, going back to the explanation of all these, he said, this is Babylon. These are medial Persians that pretty much took over the, uh, the rulership after Babylon. This is Greece. This represents uh, uh, Alexander the Great, right? And this was Rome which happened in the Iron Age, and which was split in two, just like the Roman Empire. And all this, uh, if you want to keep going, it says that it's going to be destroyed by this rock, which was Christ, and then we're going to bring the kingdom we're of heaven. In, we're in the time of iron and clay right now? Yeah, absolutely. Now, also, if I might, if, if I might say, there's another prophecy in Daniel uh, about the beasts. Yeah, Daniel 7. About, and now in these beasts, Daniel, yeah, Daniel 7, Goes into the same into the same story, but different representations. Now he's going to talk about beasts representing all these nations. There he specifically said Alexander, uh, 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 pretty much uh, 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 Greece, and he named them all by, uh, uh, by by names. These prophecies these prophecies were written thousands of years before it happened. I got the chance. This is crazy. The ch oh, you you found the chances? Read. Right. So this is right. It says. Uh, from reasons to believe dot org. That says, unique among all books ever written, uh -huh. the Bible accurately foretells specific events in detail, many years, sometimes centuries before they occurred. Right? It says approximately 2,500 prophecies appear in the pages of the Bible, about 2,000 of which have already been fulfilled to the letter, no errors. Uh -huh. Right? It says, uh, it says, and since prophecies are for the most part independent of one another, the odds of all these prophecies having been fulfilled by chance the odds of all these prophecies to be fulfilled just by chance read without error uh -huh. is less than one in ten to the two thousandth power one to the tenth and two thousand power that is one with two thousand zeros written after that's it. crazy so how do we know that the bible is true because math proves that these prophecies are impossible just to happen now nah? The prophecies in Daniel 7, Daniel 2. This is just the that, books of prophecies. That? Yes. Because this was written thousands of years before it happened. And then it happens exactly like it did. Go to Daniel 7. I mean, uh, the, the, the prophecies of the beast. Okay. So this is Daniel 7 and, and 2. Uh-huh. Right, it says, Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, uh -huh. and behold, the four winds of heaven strove upon the great sea, and four great beasts came up from the sea. Now he said that four great beasts came up from the sea, read. Diverse one from another. Uh-huh. They were different from one from another, read. The first was like a lion. The first was like a lion, read. And had eagle's wings. And had eagle's wings. Now... The Babylonians had a symbol that was called a cherub, right? Which was a lion with wings, right? Read. I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked. Uh-huh. But the wings of those were plucked, read. And they was lifted up from the earth. And they were lifted up from the earth, read. And made stand upon the feet as a man. And they stood upon the feet like a man, read. And a man's heart was given to it. And a man's heart was given to it. This is when the rise of it, read. And behold, another beast. But then uh, behold, another beast came, read. A second like to a bear. A second likened unto a bear. Now, this is another beast, right? Read. And it raised up itself on one side. Now, it raised up itself on one side. Read. And it had three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it. Now, this second beast had three ribs in its mouth. Those three ribs represent three different nations that that, be, that, that, that nation destroyed to become its powers, which were, yeah. what, what were the nations that he did? Lydia, Egypt, and Babylon. 
Lydia, uh, Egypt, and there was another nation. That was represents the three nations, those three ribs in that bear's mouth, right? So you don't, you don't apply Yeah. Yup. It was, got to be Assyria too, no? I think it was Assyria. It, Who that, Persia? Yeah, Persia. I think it was Assyria. Yeah, I'm sure it was Assyria because they did. But Daniel they, 8, that's his tribe, right? Right, but we we understand that the uh, that the the Medo Persians destroyed those nations to get to get its power. Read, Con. and they said thus unto it: Arise, devour much flesh. Now he said, "Arise, devour much flesh." He's selling a bear now. Read. After this, uh -huh. I beheld and lo, another like a leopard. Now behold, he's seeing another one, liken unto a leopard. Right now, this is Greece is talking about. Now, how do we know it's Greece? We can look into historical, whatever. We understood that Alexander, he wore a leopard thing around his head, like a, uh, like, like, now I don't know about a super, I know he had like a thing around his head also, always leopard skin also, read. Which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. Uh-huh. The beast had also four heads and dominion was given to it. It's, the, 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 the what? Read that again. Con. It says, uh, the, the four head? The beast had also four heads. The beast had four heads, cuatro cabezas. Alexander the Great had four great generals under him. Read. The domin and dominion was given to it. And it, dominion was given unto this, uh, unto this nation. Read. After this, I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast. But after this, in this night vision, he saw a fourth beast. Now, this fourth beast scared Daniel. Read. Dreadful and terrible. And Dreadful and terrible. This beast scared Daniel. Read. And strong exceeding. Uh huh. And it had great iron teeth. And it had great iron teeth. Read. It devoured and break in pieces. Uh huh. And stamped the residue with the feet of it. Now this is like no other beast like the other one because this mo this animal right here stamped and destroyed all the ones down to dirt. Right. Read. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. And it was different from all the other beasts. Read. And it had ten horns. And it had ten horns. Now those horns represent. Pretty much the uh, the the root, uh, the power the powers that they had throughout the whole Roman Empire. Read. I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn. And after that, they saw another little horn come out. Read. Before before whom there was three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. Uh huh. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man. Now th within this within this Roman power, one little small horn. Rose up and just and plucked up on three other horns. Right. Now this is talking about in the future, future, right? A, a, a power with within this system, right? Pretty much styled after the Roman governments, right? That took up three horns, that destroyed all the other three horns. We say that this is pretty much America that destroyed France, uh, 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 that that beat France, Spain, and um. Who, who that? Oh, the fourth beast. Yeah, the, the throw horn, uh, they, they pluck the other three horns. Yeah, I think so. What, um, why, why, do, why do you pick that beast as representing the future? Because he's going to, watch, because he's going to say it. Daniel, Daniel yeah, actually says who, the, who these animals repeat. Hunt, it says, and the eyes like the eyes of men and uh -huh. the mouth speaking great things. And the eyes were like the eyes of men and the mouth speaking great things. Read. Con, you want to get that too, verse 9? Those were cast down, the ancient of days did sit. Yeah, and I want the explanation, though, about w eight. W chapter 8 tells us what, what which one of those each represent. I'm trying to find that picture of uh, the Alexander Leopard thing, because yep. I, I have a good one. Read. The, the other one goes into the goat. That's Daniel 8. Yeah, it's going to go, it's going to tell us exactly what, what, what they all means. It starts from the top. In the vision, the Elam. Where's it at? What? Daniel 8 with the explanation oh, of like 19. Oh, okay. Yeah, 19. Read. Oh, okay, yep. It says, uh, Daniel 8 and 19, and he said, Behold, I will make thee known what shall be in the last end of the indignation, for at the time appointed, the end shall be. Now, this is the angel telling them exactly the explanation of these things. Read. It says, The ram which thou sawest. The ram which thou sawest. Read. Having two horns. Are the kings of Media and Persia? Now the ram representing Media and Persia, read, which is the silver right here. Read. Con. And the rough goat. And the rough goat, read. Is the king of Grecia. And the and the king of what? Grecia. Uh, the king of Grecia, because Alexander he was the father of Philip, right? Philip is the one that 
pretty but much. He, the of the it's like yeah, Philip was the father of Alexander. He's the one that united uh, uh, all the uh, the city uh, the uh, the city states of Greece, right? They all united, and, they, and Alexander took power, right? And he pretty much conquered the whole world with all the power of his fathers, right? With his father united, read. And the great horn that is between his eyes. And the great horn that was in between his eyes, read. Is the first king. And it's the first king, read. Now that being broken, uh -huh. whereas four stood up for it, four kingdoms shall stand up out of the nation. Out of four kingdoms is going to stand up out of the nation. After Alexander died, right, his four generals put crowns upon their heads and they went to war against each other. This is all documented his history, man. Right, read. But not in his power. But not in his power, read. And in the latter time of their kingdom, uh -huh. when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up. Uh huh. And his power shall be mighty. And his power shall be, shall be mighty, read. But not by his own power. But not by his own power, read. And uh, and he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. And they're gonna what? And uh, and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy. People. And they, they're gonna actually destroy the mighty and the holy people. Then they, they then we see them actually uh, invading and starting to destroy the, the the Israelites, which at the time were the Jews in the Holy Land. This is all documented his history. Read. And through through his policy also he shall ca cause craft to prosper in his hand, uh -huh. and he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace shall destroy many. And by peace he's going to destroy many. We were just reading Maccabees the other night. And it, the book of Maccabees pretty much goes into everything exactly what the Greeks did to, uh, to the Israelites. Read. He also shall stand up against the prince of princes. Uh-huh. But he shall be broken without hand. That's it? Keep reading? Time. One. Keep reading. And the vision of the evening and the morning which was told is true. Wherefore, shut thou up the vision, for it shall be for many days. So he's going to shut up this vision be for many days. So later on, we understand that all these prophecies were written hundreds and thousands, thousands of years before it even happened, man. So it being mathematically almost impossible for it just to happen exactly like it said it was going to happen. That picture there was the... Oh, hell yeah, there it goes. There goes Alexander the Great. With his leopard skins. I seen another one with the with, with, he had leopard skins all over his head too, but this one has it all all all, all on his horses. So, so it's a history book. It's a history book, man. Yeah. Right, but this look, there's parts in the Bible that's allegory, of course, yeah. that rep that means yeah. something. You know what I'm saying? What I was telling, what I was telling him, mm -hmm. right? I was telling him is that uh, in history there there's um okay what happened what happened to us or what happened to to Adam and Eve that got them kicked out of out of uh, that's that's out of that's allegory now right? yeah that's what allegory. Happened? What happened to Adam and Eve? And uh, since, since it's all history, right? Since it's all history, it's all history, right? Right. So, so watch this. Watch this. I'm telling him, like, I believe in science. Mm -hmm. I don't think that I don't think there's really uh, a separation of science and religion. You know, I believe. I also believe that there's uh, that there's a, a Pangea. There's two different. There's two different theories on Pangea. Right? Mm -hmm. One was like was like there was a pole shift or whatever and uh and it happened instantly Ooh, where i heard the about that one spun and everything separated boom now that would bring about a great flood right but also also like watch this the bible says that when adam and eve got booted out of out of uh out of eden mm -hmm. right what was their punishment what was Adam's punishment? That he, he that he would, he would have to earn his food from out the earth right? with sweat. Yeah. Right. So, what was Adam's life like in the Garden of Eden? Everything was bountiful. Everything was pretty much 
easy and beautiful, man. Right. Right. But that's all. Now, but that's now all. Al have, that's all let allegory, though. Let, let me let me go. All of these guys, right? Mm -hmm. You have the um, Mexicans was in North America, Native Colombians, Argentinians, South America, Native Argentinians, Chileans, South America, Native Americans, you know, here in North America, Cubans off an island, yeah, Puerto Ricans off an island. These guys. So how did it get over here? American. Your question is, how did, it, how did it get over here? Hold on, hold on. Because now you jump from Adam all the way to there. Now watch this. Now watch this. Uh -huh. When you match up the, all those countries, mm -hmm. they all they all peg to Africa, right? They all peg to Africa. Now, now when they separated, what's South America? Central America, what, what are they like? North America. So, were, did, were you, forced, are, were those, were any are of those you, people forced to dig the dirt for their, for their food? Are you thinking? Were they, were they, were they, were they no, that's the garden of Eden. Yeah. That's the they had to, they South have to America, cultivate the ground somehow. Yeah. South America is a, is a garden of Eden. There's nope. still people, that's, there's still no, people it's not. in the rainforest picking off the trees. <laughs> They're but, still picking off the trees. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't. The ground for their food. They still have to. Be, they still have they, to they work for now. it. They, they got to hunt. They, they got to cultivate. Why, why like they, they still why do it. They, why do they have to do it now? Why? Because they got colonized. They got forced to. They got forced to. But they didn't have to before. They didn't have to before. It was very. You know, it, it was like, very. It was they, very bountiful. I. I. I agree with you. I, look. I. I yes. I, I agree with you. Listen. What's your name, by the way? What's your name? They were farmers. I understand. Well, actually, yes. No, they weren't. Yeah, no, bro. They weren't. Yes. No, they weren't. They what? They 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 whatever they ate, they left in place in the earth, and that's they only took they, they only they took what they needed. Every I single, understand. Not everybody, nomadic. Nomadic. Not, everybody nomadic. Nomadic. not everybody was nomadic. Not everybody was nomadic. Not everybody. The Mexica was nomadic. nomadic. The Mexica was Mexica not nomadic. Was nomadic. No, they, they weren't. They roamed from. Where the Mexica from? The Mexica, straight from from Texcoco, from straight from the, uh, 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 from they the, from Tenochtitlan. They weren't Listen, from, they were from there. but they weren't nomadic. They, were there. they, were they from went there and created an empire. Yes they, or no? Yeah, because they're they, so, so, but they so they're, they weren't land. nomadic no they more. They that land, and they had offspring that stayed behind in every place. That's why all of the Americas were populated. All the Americas were populated. The, from from Peru all the way up to, to, to North no, America. No, his we his all, th he thinks all, that they're all, all nomadic. Not everyone's all, not not all the indigenous all tribes. Not that, but I understand. I understand. Lands, but you're saying DNA traits from North from North America to South America. Do you know DNA? DNA, traits. DNA traits. Now you're now you're arguing something that you don't know. Maybe I don't know it. Then why are you arguing Maybe it? Maybe I don't know it because in my DNA. There's blood from fucking Peru all the way to North America. Because we're relatives. Exactly. That's, That's exactly why. what I just said. We're relatives. Nomadic. That does and not mean. You run from north to south that and you leave your nomadic, babies though. everywhere. What does that got to do with being nomadic? Nothing. You leave your babies Nothing. everywhere. You're all related. You don't have to be nomadic if you're all related. Just like, just like in Africa. In Africa, there's, there's nomads in Africa. You know, they were, yeah. they were you know, but they, most of the time. Build, they, did they build solid buildings? Yes. yes. They built solid buildings. Yes. yes. Just like the you're, Inca did. About, just like the about, just like the Toltecs did. You're talking about, just come you're on, talking man. About their centers, like this right here. No. Yes. You know I've traveled. I've traveled from here to all to to the East Coast. Been, I've been to what 49 states, to? Canada. What about I've been to? into Mexico. I'll tell you like that. I'm fucking Have you nomadic. Been Great. I'm nomadic, but I'm part of Great. it. Great. I understand. Are you from here? I, I understand. Look, listen. I was born here. You were born here. Where was your mom born? Here. Where was your grandma born? Here, sir. I don't believe that one. I don't believe that <laughs> Why? one. Why? I don't believe that one. Why are you asking me? Where are me? you from? Where are you from? Mexico. Right? Where are you from? From El Salvador. Where are you from? Uh, California. And where, where are you guys all doing here? My, nomads. My, my, nomads. No man. No man. No. No. Man. no, 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 no my family. My family came in here as refugees. What are you refugees. talking about? Refugees. Yes. 
But you traveled. You traveled from there. You still have blood over there. You still yes. have blood here. That's not the point. That's okay. not the point. That's exactly what a nomad is. No. A nomad, no, a, a nomad is that's pretty exactly much people that moves for a purpose. You have because right now, because you said that you, you said you, you, you said certain Indian purposes. tribes, certain Native you, American tribes followed the buffalo. Yes. Have, they those have, are the nomadic tribes. Have, I understand that. Do you have family in other parts of the United States? Yeah. Do you go visit them? I haven't. Do you go visit bro, them? No. Bro, this is a terrible zero. point. Bro. But you're making zero, zero, zero no, points. It's it's you're making zero point. points. It's, it's the truth. Point. It's the truth. It's the but truth. how? So let's go. If I moved to Virginia, let's, I let's, know let's reel this back, so though. No. Let's reel this back. I, I grew up in Virginia. Let's reel this back. I want to reel this back. That's crazy. Because you said you brought the example from Adam, right? And then... The, uh, uh, the separation of the cons. The Bible speaks about that. There's a man named Peleg. In his times, the earth started to separate. Pretty much, it started to be divided. Pretty much di uh, divided. The, me the mechanisms. The me the, now, I understand about the theory. There's two theories. There's one that the sudden slowly, and then the sudden. It, it was just instant. Now that's climatic. You think now, those now people will survive? Now it's a, Listen. No, exactly. It, exactly. It brought a flood. It brought a flood, and that's where that's where uh, the, the flood didn't started. do that though. Like if you if, if you remember, I think the Peleg, Peleg was leading up or after. After. It was it was after, after the flood. After. Uh, Peleg was after the flood. So yes, we can say that before the flood happened, the earth looked a certain different way. So how many and the, times has how many times has has uh. Has the earth been flooded? Once. Uh, well, I want to say well, once. The the, 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 once. the Bible says once. Yeah. Right? What happens when, when all when, the land was together once. What happens when the yeah. continent shifts that hard? So okay. you, so you, so you think, I, what do you exactly think? think? Those two exactly theories. Right. Those two I, theories. I that, what do you think? I think that the Garden of Eden is south, south and Central America. That's what I think. That's, That's impossible. That's impossible. They don't have to scratch through their food. Before, yes, col they yeah, before it got colonized, before it got colonized, they did not have to scratch through their Great. food. Great. That's impossible. Let's go they to second edge. And it broke off from Africa, and this is probably going to make you mad. Yeah. It broke off to okay. Africa, and Africans Great. had to scratch through their Great. food. Great. Now, the thing is, really? is that white people have never gotten stuff off their trees. Hmm. They don't have any food that grows on their trees. Hmm. And, that's and they why and, it, and they and they, they take and they it. take theirs by that's the sword, don't, don't they? they? And they and, and, and of course people, not. We agree with you there. They're not God's, God's people. God's They're not God's, God's people. people. And South America and Central America was was eaten. That's, never. That's, it was never. It was never. It, there was never. Eaten. never eaten. Mike dropped nothing. You're you're running before before I disprove you. See, you guys want to tell me. Your great, and your tale, great. But you don't want to listen to mine. No, listen. I heard you. Hey, you're just I heard you, but you're not letting me respond. You're not letting me respond. You're not letting me respond because for for one moment. But you see, the difference is, is that when you were talking, I was listening. You weren't. No, I was. You weren't. I was. I sat there and I listened to you talk to that about that, and I, I great. listened to this man and, read, and, and I didn't interrupt you one great. time. Then you now brought up I'm your point, you what I'm thinking, and then and you're talking you didn't let me respond. Still, you're still you still didn't let me respond. <laughs> but you still didn't let me respond. Me. So when are you so going to be done? So when is you done? So when? Great. You try to, but you try to walk away. But okay. But you didn't let us. You. I gave you respect. So where's our so where's our rebuttal? So where's our rebuttal? So where's our rebuttal? That's why everybody that leaves. Great. Leaves screaming at you. Great. Because you don't listen. That's fine. That's fine. But what about the? What about? You don't have to agree with you. That's all. You don't have to agree with you. Great. 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 But listen to. Can I rebut? Can I rebuttal now? Can I? Can I rebuttal? I listen to you. I. My theory sounds to you. Great. Great. Who said How that? you sound to me when you Great. don't want to listen to Can I rebuttal? Because there's a closed mind to it. Can I rebuttal? Can, can I rebuttal? You, you don't even got a script. script. You just I'm go off madness. I'm, I'm telling you're you. are going off you're going off ludicrous thoughts that doesn't even make ludicrous. sense. You called everybody a nomad. You called everybody a nomad. You called all the indigenous men, women in the in, in the world nomads, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. That what? You agree with that. that what? That they're not God's people. Who? Who? Who I called nomads. 
No, they the exactly. indi the indigenous. So why are you, why listen. Are you trying to argue with no, the indigenous of this land are God's people, bro. That is from, except for Judea, is from the Americas. And they're all and nomads. They're and they're all Americas. nomads. Why are are they, they all nomads? Every single group. Like You're crazy. No, it's not. The Mexica stop being nomads. The Tolkien, the Toltec stop being nomads. You don't know. You, you don't know what nomad means, bro. You people that follow resources. People that follow the resources. What? What? Uh, what? Uh, what? Why did you come to America? I was born here due to my family being refugees. Following the resources. No. No, they had their own resources, which the American government fucked up in El Salvador. Now you leave and you go smoke your damn cancer stick. <laughs> Poison yourself just like the white man wants you to. That's right. See, that's the thing, man. That's the thing. No, no that's the thing. I, you're going to say something and you're not going to let me rebuttal, and then you're going to cry about it saying that I'm, I'm talking over you. All right. Are you done? How about this? How about this? How about this? What is smoke? Huh? What's smoke to a native person? What's smoke? Uh, go, go okay, no, 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 no. Listen, if you want to talk to if you want to talk tobacco is something that they held sacred that they may use for certain ceremonies. I understand that. But is that the same is that the same tobacco that you're smoking now? No, it's not. It? No, it's not. You're not pulling that out the earth. You're not doing none of that. You're buying it. You're literally buying cancer in a box. Because can I grow a tree? Did you grow that tobacco? Did you grow that can tobacco? Did you grow that grow tobacco? Did you make sure there's no chemicals or no ca ca no, no, no kerosene in that? Am I allowed to grow a tobacco tree? In okay. Am I? Am I? But you're a nomad. You're a nomad. Legally. Legally. You're a nomad. Legally. Legally. Follow the resources. You're you're nomad. Nomad. Legally. 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 Am I allowed to grow? Legally, am I allowed to? You, upset, listen, right? you no, can no, grow no, your no, own. You can no, grow no, your. No, listen, that's you you, you can grow your own. I did. Did I say I wasn't a nomad? I am a nomad. I've been to every go state. Great. I've been to Canada. Great. I've been to Mexico. Fine. I've been all over the place. Let's let, let's go back to your tobacco. Let's go back to your tobacco. Great. Let's go back. You're a nomad. You're a nomad. And why? Your family is from the from the East Coast. Your family oh, yeah. is from the south. I was born your in California, Your family is from sir. far south. Your family Let's go from back where? to your tobacco. Where? You guys let's, not run, let's not run. To, let's, let's not run from your cancer. Let's not run from your... Damn, damn, damn you, you, you went I'm through that You know. went through that cigarette. Like, no, damn. Been, he was holding for a while. He was holding for a while. It was already... So let's go back to your tobacco. Let's go back to your tobacco. Let's go back to your tobacco. I don't want to talk to you no more, dude. I know I'm going to leave right now. Great. I just wanted to let you go. know that you have a script, dude, and that's why... You don't even really got a script. I don't... You go off no, just I, whatever thoughts that come to your mind that makes no sense. You called every single indigenous person in the in the Americas nomads when they aren't weren't. Not everyone... Where not everybody were nomads. Where did they come from? They come from? Not, not everybody were nomads. Well, how about they this? How about this? How did they end up there? Great. Can we read that for you? Can we read that for you? Can we can we read that for you? Great. Let's read. Where are they from? If they're, See, if the Jews, you can't ask me. You can't Jews ask me a question without. Africa, so how you did they end you up so in fucking so, America. so you, you how did they end up? You ask me a question. No you, no, I'm not gonna let you. Oh, talk more, they follow I'm the resources. They were brought here in slavery. I don't. They were brought here in slavery. Because you do not listen. No, you I do not listen. You, you asked me a question. No, sat there and you asked me a question. And I did not listen, I did bro. Not you're a fool. Then when I listen, said you're a fool. When I said you are a fool when I said that you do not want to listen. You, wanna, you, wanna you do not want to listen. Great. So then leave. Exactly. Kick rocks. Then kick rocks. Kick rocks. If you don't want to listen, kick rocks. Kick rocks. I'm full of shit. You're full of shit. You spoke madness that you think that humans can reproduce with pigs. You idiot. You idiot. It doesn't say that it's impossible. Oh my God. You think human beings can have sex and have children with pigs. It doesn't say it's impossible. I didn't say through sex. I said through insemination. I said through insemination. Oh, oh my man. God! I said the insemination. Did he tell Neanderthals come from some uh, somebody other than Adam? 
but he don't know where they came from. He got stumped Crazy, on that. That was like an hour ago. He don't even know the answer to that. He just said it, and he has no he has no resources. Because for there it doesn't is, make any sense. There is a Neanderthals there, don't come from Adam. Everybody else comes from Adam, but you don't know where the Neanderthals come from. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, sir. God made no, humans, no. Right? God made humans. You want to say no? No. Show where Neanderthals come from. God made humans. Show me where Neanderthals right? come from. Right. God made humans. Did he make other people besides don't that? Don't ask that question. Did he, make other, no did he make other people besides that? You don't want to hear us talk. You don't want to hear us talk. talk. Didn't. There was other, you don't there was hear life talk. here before God made humans. There was huh? life here before God made what humans. Life? What type of life? Prove it. Everything. Prove it. Every, everything was here. Prove everything it. What's here. everything? You know, like, like. Elaborate yeah, he, on okay, it. Okay, so he created everything, right? He created horses. He created cows. He created, yeah, he created fish, all of that, yeah, right? Yeah. Right? Right? And so since then, there hasn't been any new species to come about. That's not what we're talking about. Since, since God created that, you see there hasn't right been any, any yeah, he's, species Yeah, he's done that the whole time. Has it, has it, has there been any other species come about? Has show me where the anthos come from, sir. No, show me where the anthos come from. That's it. Don't talk about animals. Show me where the anthos come from. That's it. I don't know it. where they come from. Obviously, Great. Obviously Great. they don't, came don't talk from about what? It anymore. Great. What's, what's the other one? Evolution. What about it? They came through evolution, right? From where? From an evolutionary from? chain. Whatever they evolved from, right? Oh, oh. I don't know. It's from oh. back in the day. It's, uh, like, you know, who knows where who, who knows where, where dogs came from? Where did they come from? Dogs. <laughs> yeah, the dogs. So modern dog came from dogs. Did, did you say God created everything? Dogs were already here, right? From God. According to you. But... We haven't changed them at all, at all. In what way? Like, where did, where did dogs come from? We can breed dogs, right. absolutely. Exactly. We bred dogs in different ways, right? Okay, yeah. Great. yeah. Right? Right? So there's different species of dogs. Yes. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So there's different species of uh, humans, right? No. No. So if you take a dog and you create something else, what is you can't create dogs? something no, else, sir, bro. How is it different sir. species of dogs? You can't do that, sir. How is it different species of dogs? Dogs reproduce with other dogs. Exactly. They're the same right? species, right? They are the same. See? See? They're, They're the same, same animal. Species, right? They're the same animal. Well, even though it species. might be a pit bull and a, 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 a terrier, it's pit bull terrier. But they're still the same species. Right? Okay. Are they they're the same species, right? Yes. Great. Are white people the same species as us? I would say they're different. In what way? Like, people were created. People were created by God. Okay. Are white people people? I don't think they are. So, oh, so basically, to tie it all back in from the beginning conversation, yeah. they're mules technically. Technically. That yeah. have bad reproducing organs, whatever you want to yes. call it. But they've been around for thousands of years already. So where's, where's, what's their origin? That's, that's, that's where we're getting. That's there. exactly my question. What was the first? Who's the first? Yeah. Uh, 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 Neanderthal. Neanderthal. Yeah. Cause he thinks they're Neanderthals. Yeah. So where's their evolution coming? Like where? Like, that's the thing. Because like you can't just say that without say without proving it. There was like it's like this. You got a German Shepherd and you got a pug, mm -hmm. and you made them together. And they're still yeah. dogs. Yeah. And you end up over here, right? Right? But is the German Shepherd? Come from the same stock as the as the, the pup? same species. Because the, the species. and what does the Bible say? It, everything yeah, yeah, of its kind. Every team. everything of its kind. The Bible literally gives us descriptions about this. Don't eat ravens of its kind, of its kind, of its kind. Did like for example, did Noah have all these type of different bears? And no, he had a bear. Yeah. And then those bears yeah, actually male and, female, yeah. ma male and female, and they actually later on micro evolved into different type of bears. Exactly. So. The, the actual ancestor of the canine that Noah made a hat made hat on the ark, all these other dogs came from. Exactly. But that still Whatever. doesn't explain the way, that still doesn't explain your theory about how white people are Neanderthals. Yeah. He can't. He already said he, he can't. He just believes it. Where'd you get that idea from? Like, where'd you get that from, man? That they weren't, that they're not the same as. Yeah, where would that idea come from? Because is that, is that what science they have says? too many, too many. Uh, they have too many similarities or dissimilarities 
like they have degenerative genetics. Skull. I believe their genetics are not as powerful, sure, but there's we can still reproduce them. You know, like melanated people, big noses, big nostrils. No, all of them. You know, curly hair. We have. Well, everybody doesn't like, have curly hair, though. A lot of us do, though. Is my is this curly hair? I would say that's curly hair. No, this is woolly hair. That's curly hair. Your hair is straighter than mine, right? But your hair is curly. I mean, you can say it's curly, but is it? Is your hair woolly? Like, you could say woolly. Is your hair could, woolly? But I could say it's curly. But is your hair woolly? You're you're playing with words. No, you're no, playing semantics no, you're now. Playing with words. Is your hair woolly? My hair? Yes. No, my hair. Okay not. then. So we're but still melanated, right? We're still, both melanated. But you're still curly. Nope. Hair. You can call it that. Exactly. But your hair is not the same as and my I'm, hair. And I'm not saying that we're the same. I'm not saying that either. I'm not saying we're the same. But but you the know? point is, your but, hair is the same as the white person's hair. Stringy, kind of, not necessarily dog hair, but it's straight. You know what I mean? I, exactly, it's not cool. They, 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 White they, people they, have the same hair. And, and the indigenous of North America had straight hair too. Exactly. I mean, like, and and, and they're indigenous. Because, they're indigenous because, because and melanated. Yeah. They are part of, of Asian. Oh my God! You gotta prove oh that. My God. You gotta prove that. Hey. Oh my God. That's that's how it is. There's a freaking bearing straight. The land, the land, no, that's been debunked. No, no. That's been, debunked? been debunked. Has it been debunked? That's been debunked. Has it been debunked? Look it up. How how long ago has the land bridge theory been debunked? That's debunked. I, I knew it. I knew he was gonna say that. Who? Asians came over here from the Bering Strait. So how that did, is impossible. So how did how did Jews come to Wait, to the Americas? I don't know. But you say you didn't want to hear from us before. How did the he Jews was trying to explain. I, I was trying to no, explain to you. Your, your I was trying to explain to you. I got it. I got it. I was trying to explain to you, but you didn't. Li you kept going, and you didn't want to listen. No, and, bro. And they're obviously you were, nomadic. Because you were. If they came listen, from Africa and ended up in Americas, they they're came. Nomadic. They came. They came here on on, on their own volition. Because so nomads you, move on their own volition. So the natives, the natives were were the natives that were here. They were, they were slaves. No, you said Jews. You said the Jews. Well, you have natives as the freaking. They're not Jews, that? though. Right there. They're not. They're not Jews. They're Israelites. Yeah. And, I was, and, I was, and, and I was. And I was. And I was about. And I was about to explain. See, so you're, doing it, you're pictures, doing it again. You're doing it again. Bro, you're doing. You're doing. You're doing. Great. About, you're doing right? it again. You're, you're talking about the people with straight hair. I'm using. No, great. I'm just but we have, out. we have to identify what you're saying exactly. Exactly, bro. and that's what I'm trying to do. We're not saying the indigenous of this planet are Jews. So, so not all all natives are Jews. No, they're Israelites, but they're not Jews. And I'm trying to explain to you how they okay, got so, here. So Israelites, you're talking Israelites. You they're you're Israelites. Like, there's different. There's, Jews are Israelites as well, but Israelites aren't Jews. Okay, so so Israelites. Yes. Israelites. They're from Israel. They we're came not from Israel. We're not nomads. In a sense, in reference to back then, when we got scattered. I yes. want to say some sure. Yeah, yes. At that time, yes. But once they settled here, no. Because I don't believe. I don't believe. But that, that goes back to his other happened. theory about Eden being here, which Pangea. doesn't make sense. Why Eden doesn't is not okay. Here. Now, I, and I try to explain Why to you about Pangea. Why does it make sense? And, yeah. and, and, how, and, and I think that you may believe that Pangea, that, that the land separated, and while they were still separating, people were yeah, on people those land there, masses. Yeah. And that that's not how it happened, bro. Is that, is that that's not think? how it happened. That's exactly what I think. Okay, so great. The were on, the, on a particular piece of land. All right. And it started shifting. It says the, the, that the earth is 5,900 years old. Was that? 5,900 or 5,600? You said the Bible? The Bible says Uh, Not exactly, no. It okay, says the Bible says it's 5,600, no, 5,900 no, 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 years old. No, it doesn't. Right? How old are the temples in in, uh, in Mexico? You have to ask them. How old, are the me how old are the temples? Which ones? How old are they? I, any of them. Bring, bring up a name. Yeah, I don't know. Because they're pretty much all around the same age. Right? Uh, we don't know that. We don't know that because Teotihuacan is like the oldest one and the, and the indigenous don't even know who built those. We believe that the Toltecs built them, really. Right? But, like I was trying to explain to you, the huh? The, 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 the Teotihuacan, we believe that the, the Toltecs built them because they were like a priestly, they were a priestly, oh, yeah. they were a priestly people. And if you, if you look at the word, Teotihuacan means the city of God, right? The city of the gods. Right. Uh, what is it called? Oldest Temple of Mexico. It says Temple of Kukulkan at 
Chichen Itza, whatever. The Chichen Itza, yeah. Back to the third century AD. However, the search results suggest there is a 3,000 year old Mayan temple discovered in Tabasco, Mexico, which could excuse me, potentially be the oldest temple in Mexico. The temple was discovered by an international team of archaeologists led by the University of Arizona during an expedition of 2017. So, technically, it says 3,000 years, but technically, that's kind of around the same yeah, around time that Kimobi is. Yeah. From exactly. the same time that here. So, I don't, I don't yeah. have a problem with that. Yeah, because, in, in, and if we read the Pupul Vu, which is the. Uh, the sacred text of the Mayans, the Popol, the Popol Vuh, the Popol Vuh, huh? The Popol Vuh? It was written by a priest. Oh my God! This is crazy. The Popol Vuh was not written by a priest. It was translated by one later on into Spanish, right? But the Popol Vuh was written by indigenous hands, explaining the, 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 the how they came over here. And they even said that the Toltecs were with them, and all the Chicalits, the 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 were, were with them. The Chicalits, which now, were, 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 were yeah. Okay. Of them all, Parau and his pyramids are believed to have been the central hub of the settlement. Parau holds the title of being the oldest known city in the Americas and among the oldest in the world. The pyramids in the Parau were built about 5,000 years ago. You said pyramids. You said temples earlier. Is it pyramids or temples? I didn't say pyramids. I, mean, I didn't said say temples. temples. I didn't say temples. I think you said temples. I said, I said pyramids. Said pyramids. It doesn't matter because there's pyramids. barely any pyramids over here. We use them as temples. Pyramids and temples are two different years things. Ago is the oldest one so what? America. We've been here what? Right? 5,000 We came here. Ago, ago, with 720, is, is 7 BC? 7 BC. That's. Yeah, it's like almost you know. 3,000 years ago, yeah. About 3,000 years ago. I don't believe this, those, those pyramids are 5,000 years old. No, absolutely not. And we know that, again, we got to go back to the same question. How of them all. And how, were, and how and were those dated? The pyramids are believed to have been the central hub of the settlements. Corral holds mm -hmm. the title of being the oldest known city in the Americas and among the oldest in the world. Mm -hmm. The pyramids in Corral were built about 5,000 years ago. How did they know that? How do they know what? How yeah. do they know any of them? Uh, any of them? Exactly. You, you. Now we're gonna. Now, now we gotta so, call in. We're going by. We're going by what? 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 What your knowledge is of? Great. Of, of the temples. When was the pyramids of Giza built? Pyramids of Giza in Egypt? Shit. Yes. I mean, there, there's a there's a hundred pyramids over there. Two. There's, there's okay. a lot of pyramids over so, there. So, so we're talking about the great pyramids, the big ones. When was the oldest one built? I mean, you can say. There's different. There's a yeah, debate there's, on there's, that. There's a, there's a lot. There's a lot of dates, but there's a debate on that. That's way way, way ago, thousands of years ago. Yeah, but regardless of that, we have to call into question on, on, on a dating mechanism. Like however they date, like carbon dating is very, it's very tricky when you get to carbon dating, right? The Bible's genealogical records and the Genesis one account of creation estimate the age of the earth. And the universe to be around six thousand years old. Sure. That's the Bible. That's a, five thousand. That's years the creation. Old. Right? And the oldest, the oldest pyramid in the world is in South America. I don't agree with that. No. So. It's in South America. I mean, I don't have to agree with that. So I mean, that's fine to say. But Wait a minute. How? How so? Because you just said that. What five? The one that you in, 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 in Coral, the, the Bible does not say that. that. It's between 5, 000, that's nowhere, nowhere in the Bible 5, says that. That's not. That's nowhere not. I just Bible. read it. I you didn't read, read, you didn't read okay. the Bible. You, you read. read you you, right, you, you read. What's it called? Uh, 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 what's it? Uh, what, Wikipedia or whatever. No. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, 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 people that make statements <laughs> about about the Bible, yeah, like yeah. that's the bi commentary. That's commentary. The Bible literally tells us we got like twelve ages. It's a rock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twelve parts of the, 12 parts of, the uh, 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 yeah. of the earth. Like, it's literally like on the we're like on the last one right now. Yeah. Like no, so like if we take it what we take it uh, thousands of years. Yeah, it's like 10,000, 10, 11,000 years since creation. Not since, since the people. moment of creation, yeah. right? But yeah, like so said, going back to. The dating process, if you know anything about carbon dating, that's sketchy. Carbon dating is very sketchy. It says, concerning the age of the earth, the Bible's genealogical records, combined with the Genesis 1 account uh -huh. of creation, 
are used to estimate an age of the Earth and the universe about 6,000 years with a bit of seed. Right? And I'm going to show you in the Bible where it says that there was 12 parts. Like, we're literally almost uh, on, on the last part, and it's literally almost ending, bro. Like, that's, and we take it as literally thousands of years. So if you can't really, like, tell us exactly what the Bible says is 6,000 years, then you're, you're going yeah, yeah. off commentary. That's, probably, that's not even commentary, I don't think. That's, that's, not, just, like, that's just estimating. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. But. Read. Read it, right. So this is Second Ezra 14 and 10. In the Good News translation, it says the world is. This no is a longer part. This is a part of the Bible that uh, 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 that they took out. As a matter of fact, read. The world is no longer young; it is rapidly approaching old age. The earth, the world is so if rapidly. Out, it's, it's commentary. No, it's not commentary. This it's is commentary. If, How? No, if it's not in the Bible, like just Sir, like you said, we, we, it is in like the Bible. Said, we right? got it. Listen. Great. Great. Go, go there. Go there. Okay. Go there. Go there. Yeah, it, we got this Bible. So we got, got this Bible. That's the only book we're going by. Read it out the Bible. Oh, so uh, so it's not just commentary no more. We're reading the Bible. Do it. Read. Second Ezra 14 and 10. For the world has lost its his youth. Uh-huh. And the times begin to wax old. The times are begin to wax old already. Read. For the world is divided in 12 parts. The world is divided into 12 parts. Read. And the 10 parts of it are gone already. The 10 parts already have gone already. Read. 10,000 years. That's what it's talking about. Read. Yeah. And half of a 10th part. And a half of a 10th part. Going on to 11. Read. And there remaineth that which is after the half of the 10th part. So pretty much all creation. At, at this time when he wrote it, 10,000 years has passed. 10,500 years have passed. Since the very beginning That's of creation. Well, where does it say 10,000? The 10th part. It says 10, 12. 10th part. Where does it say 1,000? That's, That's what it's talking about. Time. The world is getting old. It's talking about age. Okay. All right. So if it's 12 parts in an age, 10 parts are gone. That's 10,000 years. It's not talking about oh, one year, two years. You got another it's translation? The world's age. Read this translation, it's a different right? translation. It says the whole history of the world is divided into 12 periods, and the 10th period has already arrived, and it is half over. Only two and a half parts remain. And this is at the time so of Ezra. 2,000 years ago. That was about... Shit. That was uh, 400 B.C. So Ezra's well, lived around that time, yo. So we're in the approximately, last, approximately. We're in the last part, right? Pretty much like the last half. Technically, technically yeah. in the last, last part. half. Yeah, technically, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So right now, we're in end time. Of course. Yeah. We're in end time. Absolutely. Right? Matter of fact, get Ezekiel 38. That's a cold one. That's easy to do. To prove the Bible is real. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah, to go I'm there. Go there. That's, that's the easiest one to do. Go there. All right, Ezekiel 38. It says, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog. Now, this is, remember when you first asked about, you know, the north and people in the north. The land of Gog and Magog is in the north. But read this again. Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog. He's telling, he's telling this prophet right here to face, your fa face against the land of Gog and Magog, the land. Right? Read. He's, it's, a per it's very important that he said the land, not the people of Gog and Magog. But the land of Gog and Magog, read. Con, uh, face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach. But the chief prince of Meshach, I want you to prophesy against him, right? Now, the chief prince of Meshach, watch this. Meshach, regarding Meshach and Tabor, right, is a sign of Russian identification connecting two nations with the modern Russian cities, Moscow and Tobolsk. Meshach for Moscow, read. And Tubal. And Tubal for Tobolsk. Those are the two main cities in Russia. Read. And prophesy against them. And prophesy against them. Read. And say thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. He said, I'm against against you, chief prince of Meshach, whoever's running in Moscow, Meshach, which is an ancient Hebrew word name for Moscow. Read. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. He says, I'm going to turn you back and put hooks in your jaws. Meaning, I'm gonna put, I'm basically gonna put the spirit on you, and I'm gonna turn you back, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna control you, because this is how you control an animal. You usually put a hook in the jaw, or put a hook in the nose. Read. And I will bring thee forth, and all thine army. Uh huh. I'm gonna bring you forth. I'm gonna control you, and you and all your army. Read. 
Horses and horsemen. Horses and horsemen, read. All of them clothed with all sorts of armor. All of them clothed with all sorts of armor, read. Even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. These are all weapons of war, right? Read. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya. Persia and Ethi and Cush in the Hebrew right there is Cush, right? And Libya, read. With with them. And with them, read. All of them with shield and helmets. All of them with shield and helmets. This is is exactly describing what's happening right now within Russia and in the Ukraine. Vladimir Putin, which in this time that we're living in, is the chief prince of Moscow, chief prince of Meshek, right? He, the, the Lord got the spirit on him that he wants to return all the, uh, the land that they lost during the fall of the, uh, uh, of the, of, of the Soviet Union. This is why he said, I'm gonna take you out and control you and put hooks in your jaws. So whatever Vladimir Putin is doing that, it's all about control of God. Read. On. It says Gomer and all his bands. Gomer and all his bands. Now this is talking about all these other southern uh, Russian lands that was under the Soviet Union. This is talking about all these other countries that was pretty much following the Soviet Union. Gomer and all the other lands. Read. The house of Togarma. Uh -huh. of the, the house North of Togarma of the North Quarters. Read. And all his bands. And all his bands. All his war. Uh, all, all their armies. Read. And many people with thee. And uh, many people with thee. Read. Be thou prepared. Uh -huh. And prepare for thyself. And now he's telling Chief Prince of Meshach, prepare for yourself. Read. Thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee. All your armies. Read. And be thou a guard unto them. Now he's telling them to be a guard guard unto them just like america is a guard to whoever all these other little countries that they play police over russia is pretty much the pretty much the uh pretty much the, the covering cherub for the from all these other nations right they like they just told who uh, they just uh, they just didn't they tell israel like that, 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 that they're, they're willing to, uh, they're, they're willing to attack if they uh, if anything happens anything more happens to uh to uh the country right. above uh, uh, of Israel. Jordan? No. Oh, uh, 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 Hezbollah? Lebanon. Lebanon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So Russia is pretty much saying, "I'm, I'm, I'm the bulwark." Right. He's telling them, "Be a guard unto all these other countries," and we're seeing all these other countries picking sides right now. Right. Read. Uh huh. After many days, thou shalt be visited. Uh huh. In the latter years, thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword. And this is talking about a future prophecy. He's going to come back into a land for, uh, of those that was brought back from the sword. This is once the Israelites are actually de delivered back into the land. Read. And is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel, which have been always waste. Uh huh. But is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely all of them. Now this is just this is future prophecy. I just wanted to touch on what's happening now. We're seeing this conflict right now with Russia and the Ukraine, which prophesied, which is prophesied in, 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 in what we just read. So this is how we know the prophet, the books, the, the, these books are divinely inspired, man. Right? We marry, we marry archaeology, we marry history, we marry even science sometimes to prove the Bible is true, man. Right? I wanted to show you how the indigenous got over here before, you know what I mean? We stepped out of, both of us, you know what I mean? Stepped away from the conversation. But um, yeah, it's probably like, it's second Ezra's 13, you got the Spanish version? Where are you from anyway? You from out here? Mm, originally I'm from out here. What? Originally I'm from out here. What's your ethnicity? Is that? I'm a native Hispanic. What about your father? My father? Uh, but is he in is Hispanic or is he my, native? My dad was born in Hollywood, California. But is he native though? Well, or is he he's Hispanic? Mexican, he's right? Native, but they're native. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I agree with that, yeah. I agree with that. Like, uh, and, and that's happened to a lot of our people, man. I was born in Blythe. Was that a, Blythe, yeah. Southern California. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Read. This is 2nd Ezra 13 and 40. Uh -huh. right? It says, Esas son las diez tribus del norte. Esas son las diez tribus del norte because the, uh, the, the, the kingdom of Israel split into two. The northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Southern kingdom are the Jews. The northern kingdom kept the, the name Israel. So they are the Israelites. Read. Con. 
que fueron llevados prisioneros de su propia tierra en el tiempo del rey Osea, quien Salamanazar, el rey de Asiria, llevó cautivo. So it's saying that the, the northern kingdom was taken captive, right, into Assyria. That's documented in history, read. Y los llevó sobre las aguas, y así entraron en otra tierra. He crossed over the river, right, into Assyria, read. Por ellos tomaron este consejo entre ellos. So within themselves, they took this counsel within themselves, read. Que dejarían la multitud de los paganos. They wanted to leave the heathen nation over there. They wanted, they understood that they were in captivity in slavery for a reason, because they broke God's laws. So they said, I need to, we need to leave the heathens, read. Not get resources. Right, not get resources, <laughs> exactly, read. Y se irían a un país más lejano. He said, let's go to another country, right, that's very far from here, read. Donde nunca había habitado la humanidad. Where no man had ever dwelt before, read. Para que ahí guardaran sus estatus. For once we get there, we will be finally be able to worship our God and keep his law, statutes, and commandments, read. Que nunca cumplieron en su propia that tierra. they never were able to, they, they, they were never able to keep in their own land. We failed to keep our laws in our own land over and over because of the, 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 the what's it called? Because outside influence of other nations. We wanted to, like, we read that throughout the Bible and even history and even in archaeology, right? We see that the Israelites has always failed. Oh, I just found, I, bro, I just found some, some tough things, too, about how the worship of Yahweh, right, came out of Egypt into the land, right? Yeah. Into the land of, uh, uh, of the worship of Baal, through the whole thing. Yup, yeah, I got that. I got that. So, so the worship of Yahweh, uh, uh, the God of the Israelites, right? They went into the land and they failed over and over. Started taking up all these other gods of the heathen nations of the surrounding nations. Read. Para que ahí guardaran sus estatuas que nunca cumplieron en su propia tierra. So they wanted to go to another land that no one has ever dwelt before, but they can finally keep God's laws and worship their God in, in truth. Read. And that proves it's not easy. Exactly. They, that proves were, it. We're, we're going to get there. Read. Y entraron en el Ufrates, and they entered into the Euphrates River. Read. Por los estrechos pasajes del río. Uh -huh. Porque el Altísimo les hizo señales. Because the Most High God had gave them signs and wonders. Read. Y detuvo el deluvio hasta que pasaron. And they held over the flood because we understand when the river meets the ocean, it's, hard, it's very harsh waters, man. So they had, they, 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 this is very talking about something that God did for them, but, but they can't go into pretty much open, open, uh, open sea from, from a river, right? Read. Porque a través de ese país, país había un gran camino por recorrer. From that country to there, it's going to be a long journey, read. Es decir, de un año y medio. Uh, and it took an hour, uh, a, 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 year. a year and a half of that, of that travel, read. Y la misma región. In that same region that they were going to. Se llama Archerith. Se llama Archerith. Archerith is a Hebrew word that means, is a compound word that means what? The, another land, read. Se llamaba Archerith. Uh -huh. Las Americas. Las Americas. How do we know that that's America? Watch this. So that's, that's, uh, how does it translate in that Bible? In the English Bible? You want to hear it in the English one? No, I want to hear the, the, how the, the Americas. Uh, uh, I, you, you got the, I got it. Yeah. I just read that English. You said you wanted to read it. I mean, it just says archery. Oh, yeah, yeah, it says archery. That's the same verse, right? Second, you got it? 13 and 45. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half, and the same region is called Archerith. It's just called Archerith. And in the 16 and 11, it just calls it Archerith. This, uh, th this translator, which is of our people, right? Que era Latino, right? He, he translated it in, uh, from um, for the original manuscripts into Spanish for our people. But watch this. The name of the land beyond the great river, far away from the habitation of men. This is out of the Jewish encyclopedia. Far away from the habitation of men, in which the ten tribes of Israel would dwell, observing the laws of Moses until the time of restoration. According to second Ezra, right here it got the fourth, it's fourth Ezra, but in some Bibles it got the number that's fourth Ezra, or sometimes second Israel, right? Chapter 13, verse 45. Columbus identified America with this land. Archery, America. So this is why this, this yeah, translator... So identified it with, with uh, Indians. Ah, uh, no, no, no. 
they, they said that they called him the Indians because he wanted to travel to India. We understand that he wanted, because he understood, man. He, he knew that there was land westward. No one had the balls to actually do that. I think no one had done that before him. I don't think so. Man, right? And then, um. I got a couple books on that. I'm going to read them next week. Like, you, if you look in the movie, if you look at the movie, 1942, he was. 1492. 1492. He was like, man, this land in the wet. Dude was like, why you. Who, he was like, the Jews even knew this. He was like, you going to believe the Jews? The Bible, Ezra. oh, e Ezra, 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 the, Ezra. The, 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 you believe a Jew? Like, you believe a Jew? So he, he, they read this back at that time. And that's how he knew to come over here because he read the book they took out of the Bible. You know what I mean? Exactly. And of course, in the encyclopedia, that's the only place that, like, people try to, not just you, other people that necessarily don't believe that the Israelites are in America, they think our truth is somewhere in Africa. Okay, I mean, which is that, just which is impossible. It. Show me where Arthurth is. Outside, anywhere uh, Arthurth is named outside of America. And, 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 the, and the text says it was uninhabitable. Exactly. Exactly. We inhabitable. understand. We understand that Africa was inhabited at Asia, that time. Asia, Europe, Europe all that, right? So and the, the Americas. The Americas is Arthurth. This is the this Americas is. Were inhabited. No, they weren't. Five thousand years ago. No, they weren't, sir. They weren't. We need the. <laughs> They weren't. They we weren't. we need we we need to understand Actually, no, no, because uh, a fire is not going to give you an older carbon. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. It could have been either older, but it was still tampered by another. It, it was still contaminated. But also, but, it's, but hold but on. They're measuring it at five thousand. But listen, but we for us to under for uh, to us to really understand how car, uh, uh, carbon dating, you would still have to know how much carbon was present in the earth at the time of creation. We don't got that measurement. We don't have that measurement. Even 5,000 years ago, you'd have to know how much carbon was there back then. Exactly. That's why it's impossible. We don't, we don't, know, we don't know that. We, we, we don't know how much carbon was in the beginning of the earth. We don't okay, know so how much carbon was. The pyramids in Africa? It, uh, there's a debate on that. There's like a debate on that, like it, 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 within, it, within academia. I don't know. I'm not going to say, you say you're like, I, they're this old. I don't know. Even academia is debating on it still. So is there a debate? On the Mesoamerican tribes, yes. Within the academia. Like, the, like that's the thing. Like, like you mentioned the Popol Vuh. The Popol Vuh is, is a fake book. It was written by a priest. No, it wasn't. Give me that. You want to say it was? It was translated. But the Popol Vuh. Who wrote the Popol Vuh?